and welcome back. The start of the second quarter here in Pahokee. The Muck Bowl, a 7-7 tie and a second down for Glades. And the quarterback rolling and has a man oh. deep wide open but overthrew him. That was DeAndre Holly. And uh, he, he was able to get what he wanted, a wide open receiver. But like you said, Bill, throwing with the wind can be sometimes more difficult than throwing into the wind. Absolutely, and, and that's just adrenaline. They have ran a play that, I, quite honestly, I've run many times in the past. And you take it back and you sing them all the way around the field. Now for that, you gotta have a lot of time to throw the ball. But you talk about open. I mean, all he had to do was lay it up there. But you get excited. <laughs> and you just overthrow the ball, and that wind is a factor, believe me. All right, so third and 12 now. Glade Central with the ball on the, I'll call it the 34-yard line of Pahokee. The give around the left side, and breaking a tackle was, uh, it looked like Torres McKinley. Yeah, number two, Torres McKinley, who's listed as a wide receiver, but on these teams, folks, wide receivers can be running backs and vice versa, and quarterbacks, you just never know. There's that much talent. Right, and it's just all about talent, and they run the little counter play that they were so successful with before, and they really were one tackle away from making a first down. Looks like they're going for a field goal, Dan. And this will be a long field goal on fourth down. I've seen it, I've watched him in practice, Dan, before the game. He's kicked them from this distance with the win. This, the ball is going to be kicked from the 38, making it a 48-yard uh, try, and it is going to be blocked and then picked out of the air. Watch out. By number nine, that's Nukis Richardson, and he has got some room and returns the ball all the way up to the 45-yard line. So perhaps a bit of a tactical error there by, uh, by Willie Sneed going for the long field goal because he had the wind to his back but not able to get uh, enough height on that kick to keep it from being blocked. Well, the problem was, I watched the kicker very closely. He got his cleats caught in the, in the turf when he was trying to approach, kind of like a, a sculled iron shot, and he never got to the ball, really, and just hit the top end of the ball. It looked like to me that the Glades kids kind of relaxed when the ball was kicked, and nobody was gonna react to the guy running it back. I don't disagree with the call because if he kicks it normally, it's either good or it's on the 20 yard line. Okay, so Pahokee now with the ball on the their own 45 yard line. First and 10, Anthony Shepard with a give around the left side, a nice deception play and some room there to run. Number three breaks into the clear. He is gone. Touchdown Pahokee, incredible. Martavius Odom on a 40 or 55 yard touchdown run for the Blue Devils as they take the lead for the first time in this contest. Wow. This, this is a reverse. Electric. This is a reverse. You get those big guys going one way real fast and you hand the ball back to your quick back coming the other way and here it comes. Here's the reverse right here and he's coming around and watch the jets that get turned on as he hits the sideline. And I thought he was gonna get caught right here, Bill, but look at the burst of speed, evading the tackler, and another tackler, and at that point, goodbye. Nobody Absol is gonna catch Absolutely. him. Absolutely, he's gotta be one of the fastest kids on the team. A problem on the point after attempt, a very high snap, but we also have a flag. And uh, let's pay attention to this, because in a game like this, it could turn out to be very important. The call is going to go against Pahokee, so the extra point now turns into a little bit of a longer ordeal for them. It's an adventure now because now it becomes about a, a 25 or 30 yard field goal attempt, really. Martavius Odoms, by the way, another one of those players who is on the Palm Beach Post Super 11, uh, considered uh, the most talented receiver on this uh, Pahokee team. He's got 608 yards receiving. But that one will go to his rushing statistics. Here's the kick, and this one is blocked. And so no good. So Pahokee does get the lead 13 to 7 now with 10.43 left to go in the first half. Does anybody believe it's going to end up 13 to 7? I don't think so. I don't think you could sell that one to anybody. But see, Dan, the misdirection plays will be very effective against 
teams that are so hyped up on defense that when they see the ball, they're going to run to the football. And these reverses and counters are going to be your best bet at moving the football on the ground. And that has proven true, I think, already in this game as, as Glades, Glades has ripped off some good running plays when they have executed that misdirection well. Right now, we're going to go down to the field and Lisa Pride. Lisa. Oh, I moved too fast. Huh? You moved too fast. I'm putting on. Okay, let's go down to the field and now uh, hear from Lisa Pride. Hello, Lisa. And apparently they are not ready for us. So let's uh, get ready for the kickoff now. 13 to seven, Pahokee leads this in the second quarter. And here comes the kick. It is short and nobody's gonna touch it at first. Now it is picked up and a big hit laid on number 25, Antonio McLeod. And I didn't see who made the hit. That looked like it might be uh, Norman Griffin Dan for the Blue Devils, but there, there is a player down. My, hello, my mic is open. Uh, yes, we have uh, Lisa Pride on the field with a guest. Lisa. Well, guys, over a dozen players have gone on from Glade Central to play in the NFL. I'm here with one of them. It's Willie Jones. He graduated in 1994 from Glade Central. And this is a big game, isn't it? This uh, game right here is more important than the state championship itself. So, I mean, all the marbles is on this one. And I see you going around talking to the players throughout the game and also before the game, really like pepping them up. What are you, what are you telling them? Uh, there's a tradition, uh, years and years of this stuff. I mean, you got people that's coming from everywhere, all over the world, you know, that used to go to Glade Central and Pahokee, you know, that's coming back to see this game. And, you know, hey, they got to keep the tradition going, you know. And it's a great thing coming from you, especially a guy that's gone on to play college ball and the pros. Back up to you, Dan. Thank you very much, Lisa. While we've got a minute, I, I, I want to just give you a little idea of how successful both of these programs have been. Glade Central has won five state championships, one in 71, one in 72. Back to back, uh, the coach then was Al Wernicke. They were runner ups in the state championship tournament in 1979 and 1997. And then a great run from 98 through 2000, Milton Watson getting the first two uh, with uh, the Raiders and then Willie Bueno in 2000. Uh, Glades, by the way, has made 22 state tournament appearances and they have won 45 state tournament games, hence the great expectations from the fans. Go. Well, listen, I'll tell you what, pahokee has got just as many. I think the reason Lisa, she could go all night in interviewing the, ex the NFL players that come from these two schools, because there's got to be at least 25 to 30 of them. And there's just so much tradition. You can feel it on the sidelines, and it's, it's really terrific to be a part of it. All right, we wanted to thank the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office for sponsoring tonight's game as we get ready to resume action. First and 10 from the 26-yard line. And the give in the middle, that's going to be the number 21, uh, Damian uh, Berry, who we told you uh, has already committed to the University of Miami. He is uh, another one of these Glade Central players who uh, is very highly touted. Uh, committed to them, but he doesn't necessarily still have to go with UM, although from all indications, he still plans on honoring that commitment. Signing day is actually not until early February. And I'm sure as a coach, you've seen some players change their mind uh, every so often. Absolutely. And I wish Glades would just get back to running the ball at Pahokee. I think they'd have a lot of success if they just did that. Well, they try on this play, but it, the ball is knocked loose. There is a fumble, and it looks like the Blue Devils are on top of it. But let's see the official ruling. Yes, it is. The Blue Devils have recovered the fumble inside the 10-yard line. And they were trying to run the ball, but such a, such 
a push by the defensive line from Pahokee that the ball got knocked loose in the process. Yeah, I'm really surprised that Glade Central's offensive line, there, here's the fumble and ball bounces about seven times here. It's really hard to see who's got it, but there's the ball again. And now the Pahokee player comes diving on the thing and it bounces out again. And finally is recovered by, I think it's number 56, Dan, who finally got on the football. Uh, that would be, that couldn't be 56. It might have been uh, Jacoby Love, number 55. So now first and goal for Pahokee. The run right up the middle and very close to a score, but I'm not getting a signal yet. Now it comes, touchdown Pahokee. Vincent Smith on the carry. And an incredible turn of events. Just the ISO Pahokee. play up the middle with a great read by the tailback. Very small running back, but great strength as he gets into the second level of the defense and finds the end zone. Glades has got to get their dauber up. Right now, they're back on their heels, and nothing's good happened to them since that opening play, and they've got to get their dauber back up. All right, so now going for two on the extra point. Try the pass over the middle, leaping and making the catch is Travis Benjamin. Number three. And it is 21 to seven now, Blue Devils with 9.47, Here's the replay. 9.43 left in the first half. The replay, the slant play to the outside receiver was supposed to go early. The quarterback wasn't ready to throw the football, did a great job of buying time and the receiver kept running his route. And look at the height that he got in the end zone and, to go up and get that. And I was, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I apologize, that was Martavius Odoms right. on the catch. Uh, once again, I was caught looking at the wrong roster. But he kind of reminded me of jumping, jumping for that ball, Dan. He almost got up as high as you did in high school. Yeah, yeah, I was, uh, I did, I could get some sky in, in my days. Now, uh, while we're getting ready for the kickoff, as I was talking about state championships, Glade Central, of course, with five of them. Pahokee, almost as impressive, three state titles, they were runner-up in 1976 for the first time, won their first state title in 1989, Donald Thompson, the head coach, and then they were runners-up again in 98. Then Leroy Foster came in and won two in a row, 2003, 2004, and then was the runner-up again in 2005. So we're talking about no slouches on either side of the field here. All right, here's the kickoff. It is fielded and taken up the middle, and with some room to run is Deontay Thompson, before he is uh, pulled down desperately by the Blue Devils, but boy, you don't want to give Deontay room to run because he can take it to the bank. Right, but they still had trouble fielding the football back there. They this did. time it was to their benefit though because the Pahokee, the Pahokee coverage team kind of outran that and, and the, the tackle was made at midfield and had it not been for that young man right here, here's the replay. See how the Pahokee players have gone by the ball carrier, so there's lots of room up the middle and we see an excellent open field tackle out here around the 50 yard line right there, preventing the touchdown actually, because he's the last guy. And that was Charles Barber, the cornerback. Now on first down, they give to the left hand side and some running room here. And a good six or seven yards by uh, DeAndre Holly, the quarterback for Glades. Holly back in the game now, that quarterback and We've got a little bit of rain coming down now. I can see through the lights a, uh, a, a light mist coming down and is going to add another little wrinkle to what has been uh, an incredible contest thus far. Second down and three to go. Back in the shotgun now is DeAndre Holly. Got it to give right up the middle. That's to Damian Berry. And Barry is going to be close to, if not uh, good for, a first down on that run. Yeah, this is what they need to do, and I think Coach Steed has really got the right idea right here. 